house. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little snow line here. And just to give myself a kind of a guide, and I'm just drawing that with my trusty pencil. You have comments, no video. Well, I can't help you there, Margaret. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Go out and come back in. Maybe that'll help. Maybe that will help. So I'm going to do my background. I'm going to grab some white. It's just going to be snow and trees, and we're going to just do a little kind of faded background here. Merry Christmas to you, Carol. All right, so I'm grabbing some gray, some pink, some turquoise. We're just going to do it all. Oh, West Virginia's getting some snow and ice. Hello from Alabama. Well, we're tuning in tonight. Really, what else is there to do on a snowy, rainy night? Then come and paint with Yvette. All right, so I'm just going to kind of, again, I'm winging this. So I'm just going to, actually, I'm going to start my, my sky a little bit. So I'm just going to take some, I already pre-painted my canvas. This is like a, a reworked canvas that I painted over something that was on it that I didn't like. So it's a great way to repurpose canvases by painting over it and just trying something else on it. There's no point in wasting them. So if you don't like what's under there, you just paint over it and try again. So I'm just putting some white on here to get it wet because I want to blend some colors up in here. And like I said, I'm just going to wing this. And you know, we might, we might like it, we might not like it. But we're going to do it anyway. So I'm just going to grab a little turquoise. I'm going to bring that up into the background. And I'm just doing it very lightly. I don't want it to be overwhelming. Raining in Michigan, yes. I'm. We're not far. Well, we're a few hours from you. But I would imagine it's all along that lake. All along the lake. We live right on the St. Lawrence River, so... We get a lot of yucky weather from the water. Good evening, everybody. If you are a CRTC sister, make sure you pop up your business names in there and people can pop over there and give you a, a follow. So I'm just incorporating a little bit of pink in there too. So I'm just putting some really light colors in the background and I don't want to spend you know major time on this because we got lots to do here so I'm just going to grab some water on my brush too so I can get that paint moving a little bit better so I have it just just sort of just a little hint of color in there and I have a huge glare on my paint when it's wet so forgive me if I'm trying to see that by tilting my head different ways all right so we have that background sort of you know it's just muted that's all we wanted just to have it muted and then I'm going to do my snow line here so I'm just going to bring in some white and hopefully this all starts to make sense to you once I once I get going with it, I'm going to put a little bit of turquoise along the top edge of that snow. It might not make much sense right now, but it, hopefully it will. And maybe we'll bring in a little bit of pink in there too, just a hint. And we'll mute that back down again. And then we're going to bring, I'm just going to tilt this a little bit, and then we're going to bring our turquoise along the top edge here. Mm 
Let's give that a try and we'll blend that down too with some white. Hi, Sue. So it sounds like everybody's getting some sort of storm, some kind in your area. Thankfully, I don't have to weather the storm tomorrow to get to work. It just happened to be my day off tomorrow. So I'm kind of stoked about that, but I do have to work all through the weekend. So, and it's supposed to carry on right through there. So we'll see how it is for the commute to work. Oh, you're not used to it there in Alabama. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that makes for a, to be shell shocked a little bit when um, the weather starts to take a turn like that. Well, I don't blame you for being in all weekend. If I could, I would be too. I'd be hibernating. I'm just hoping that the power stays on. So if it all goes black up in here, you'll know that I lost power. So I'm not sure if the storm is far enough in yet to lose power. But if I disappear, you'll know why. All right. So I'm just putting a little bit of that turquoise and pink through here. And I don't want it to be too dark. So I'm just muting it down. And then I'm going to give this a quick dry. And I'm, I might add more later. But for now, we'll get that much on there and we'll see how that works out. So it looks pretty, pretty blah right now, but hopefully it starts to take a little shape. All right, let's get this dried so I can read some comments. Baked cookies tonight and you didn't share. All right, that's good. <laughs> roads are closed already where is that where are you sweetie where did you say you were alabama and you have your roads are closed oh my goodness well i guess i guess you wouldn't be equipped for that kind of weather would you for plows we have plows and salt trucks and all kinds of stuff that we keep the roads cleaned off but Well, I'm glad you're resting, uh, Claudia. So hopefully we do a good job on our painting here and you enjoy it. <laughs> Let's just hope it works out. <laughs> I didn't want to do, um, you know, we're kind of getting a little bit past all of the Christmas stuff and we're kind of, us creators are moving on into Valentine's and so it was kind of a little bit of a struggle to figure out what I was going to paint tonight, but it's, um, I'm going to grab a little bit of gray here. We're going to put some muted trees up here in the background with some gray. Now, again, I hope by using this color palette that, um, things all work out again. One never knows until they try. And then once we paint it, we might decide that we should have used a different color or you can all help me out with color choices well, as we go to. It's kind of the fun of doing a painting. Um, you just never know how it's going to turn out. It's half the fun. All right, so I'm just getting some gray trees here in the background. Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Be sure to sprinkle, sprinkle it out. So I'm just putting random branches. These are just our background trees, so they're not going to be too dominant. We just want them to kind of be in the background there. So we'll just get a few of these. And I'm kind of got my arm at a funny angle. 
normally I would turn my canvas to do this. So I'm just trying to, and you can kind of overlap those onto each other. Just put some wild branches off of here. Thanks for sprinkling. Just to get it some branches out there. So there's a few there in the background. So it's starting to look like a forest anyway. That's a good thing. So we'll put some over here. Oh, great, Pamela. Glad you did too. Now I will have somewhat of a tracer for you for this too when we're finished. All right. I'll just bring, I'm just trying to get these in here as quick as possible now. My angle that my arm is at. I'm just hoping that they're, how are they looking so far from your angle? Okay, the colors are pretty. All right, so I'm gonna bring some up from in the snow here, and we'll put a little bit of a base of snow at the bottom of these too um, when we finish here, but I just kinda wanna give it a little bit of depth by adding some a little further down. And these don't have to be perfect. These are, you know, mine are by far perfect. Okay, and we'll add a few in here. So you just want to do your whole tree line. I'm not ignoring your comments. I will look up here in a second. I just want to get these trees on and then we can move on to the next step. So also you can kind of just pull some random straight. You know how sometimes we just have the kind of like sort of like dead trees in the center. And pull a few of those up through there just to fill things in. Water on my brush. And even down here, you can pull up some of you know, a few of those little random ones. And I think I'm going to stop there, but I think you get the idea. So we kind of have our background tree line in there. So now we need to fix up this little smidge here on the bottom. So I'm just going to grab a flat. And what I'm going to do is grab a little bit of white. And I just want to kind of put a little base at the bottom of these trees here. So I'll grab a little bit of that turquoise. And you can grab some white and mute that down a bit. Just so it looks like they're not sitting out in space there. So we kind of just add a little base there. You can even add a little bit of pink if you want to. I'm liking these colors anyway. All right. Now we can also grab some white. And now that we have our trees where we want them, you can kind of spruce up that snow line there um, with a little bit of that turquoise and white. 
you want to add a little more turquoise to that you can and some of this you aren't going to see because we're putting something in the foreground here in a second so all right all right so far so good are y'all confused as to what the heck is she doing <laughs> sometimes i confuse myself like okay she's got trees and snow what is she doing where is she going with this okay so let's give this a quick dry how's our time doing all right we got till 10 45 so i think we should be okay so now we have our background done we're going to get this dry and put our little foreground picture on that i'm going to trace on here that i have drawn out over here and then i think you're going to see where i'm going with it once i get this other portion done have i completely confused you are y'all still with me all right so we have our little pair of mittens here so we're going to bring our foreground tree right across that whole thing and we're going to paint some mittens hanging in the tree so that's where we're going with that so i'm just going to grab my carbon paper because we've pre-drawn this and i'm going to just give myself a guide as to where to go with my little stylus here and we'll kind of just trace out thank you for still being here <laughs> i appreciate it <laughs> you haven't put me on mute yet all right so i'm just gonna kind of do a guide for these branches it doesn't really matter too too much where our tree goes but just so i kind of have an idea where we're at and then i'm going to trace on my mittens I'm going to try and get them straight so that they look like they're hanging properly. And we'll just get these traced on here. So I drew these before my live started. Um, and this will kind of be the tracer that I give you at the end if anyone wants to give one a whirl. It's kind of like a. And it's pretty easy little painting and you know it's a good one to try if you're if you're not uh, accustomed to painting or you haven't painted too much or you're new to painting this is a good one to try it's not hard um, just draw your little snow line on and do all of that stuff freehand and then I'll give you the tracer for the mittens and then you can give it a whirl so I'm going to do my mittens in some pink i'm going to do blush pink that's what i'm using and we'll get these filled in and then we can get adding some shading and bringing our mittens to up to life so i'm just going to get these based in and then we're going to work on that big tree trunk that's coming straight across the front here and we're going to try and get this happening fast because we have until 10 45 and also i wanted you to notice if you haven't noticed already i pinned a post down at the bottom here i think it should be below there um i've opened up my membership just for the the next week just for the holidays um and i've offered a uh, special price until January 2nd so if you want to check that out you can um, just click on that link and it'll give you all the information if you need more information about it just feel free to ask any questions you want to and I can try and answer those for you but it's just open until January 2nd and then we'll be closing it back up again so if you've been waiting to get into the membership group you can jump on in there in the next week hi wendy whitney how are you i love this color of pink sue um it's one of my favorite pinks this blush pink all 
All right, so I'm trying to, I should probably grab a smaller, smaller brush to get in at the other one. And I'll just grab a small round and we'll get this one filled in. Now, when you're painting yours, you're going to be able to turn your canvas. You know, I, I can turn my canvas. It's not that I can. I just don't like to flip around a whole lot when you're watching me so you don't get all dizzy. But I'll flip it quick just so we can get this based up in here. So that kind of pops right off of your background because we incorporated a little bit of that pink in the sky too. Now if you do yours, you don't have to do your mittens pink. You can do them any color you want. Just incorporate a bit of whatever color you do your mittens into your background so they kind of all tie in together. Or again, there's no rules. You can do yours any color you like because in painting there is no rules at all you can do whatever you like and always if you don't like it you can always just paint over it let it dry paint over it and start over it's the beauty of acrylic paints all right so we got a coat on there and i'm just going to dry that quick because i don't want to stick my hand in it and we're going to work on our big tree branch there i'm hoping it's going to turn out pretty i hope so we're going to see i got a little pink on my background Let's fix that with some white. See, any little mistakes can be easily fixed. All right, get this dried quick. So I'm gonna be doing my big branch with um, some burnt umber and I'll mix a little bit of white in there periodically just to make a lighter shade of, of brown, but we're gonna use some burnt umber to get that lined in there because it's gonna be, we're not gonna do it in the muted tones because this one's in the foreground, like right out front. So we wanna be able to um, make it more of a focal point. So we're gonna just do that with that dark brown and we'll get that branch in there. So hopefully if all goes the way I want it to, it will pop right out there. And really like I just kind of somewhat put my branch on here because you know you can paint your branch however you want. It doesn't have to be exactly to the line drawing because branches grow in many different directions. It doesn't have to be a certain way. I'll bring a piece down here. And you can kind of just let your hand go wherever it wants to go. And then we'll bring one up here. And we'll just do a bunch of random branches here all across our background. Now I'm not going to be looking at your comments for a second because I just want to get these branches on here. So I'm just kind of bringing some random ones all off of here. I'm just going to grab some water. If your paint starts to pull, just Put a little water on your brush. I'm using a number one round to do this. Um, it's just the right size to, to do these small ends. And they get finer just by taking the pressure off your brush. So if you push down, you're gonna get a wider branch. And as you pull up with less pressure, it kind of gets a finer line. 
So it's all about the pressure on your brush to get those nice little fine lines. And again, we're just pulling out. And I mean, you could do this for a very long time. It's kind of um, relaxing just to paint tree branches because you can just go on and on. <laughs> that's great, Sue. Oh, that's that's great. And you can also bring some down here and overlap them over top of your bottom branch, you know, because they'll they'll grow over each other as well. So also we want to kind of bring some down here by our mittens. And I don't, and I'm saying that just because this is kind of where my eye was taking me. When you do your branches, have fun with it. Just go wherever you want to go with them. It's all good. All right, so you just kind of look back at it, and I'm, I see some here that maybe I want to bring some up in here. And also you can bring a few randos down here. I just sounded like my child randos. Randoms, random branches. I'm starting to get the teenager slang out of my mouth there. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. Oh, thanks for joining. First time watching. Where are you? It's the Rust Covered Cottage. Thank you for joining. Glad you found us. All right, so I'm going to stop there just because, again, I think you get the idea. And I don't want to spend too much more time playing around with branches. So we're going to give that a quick dry, and then we're going to work on our mittens. And we have about 17, 16 minutes left, so I think we should be able to get our mittens done. Give this a quick old dry, and then we'll work on these. And also I was saying about the white, ooh, smaller brush, the white. So I'm going to grab a little bit of white in my burnt umber and I'm going to just mix down to a lighter brown. And you can highlight your branches with a little bit of that lighter brown too, just to give it a little bit of contrast just on that top side of them. So they just don't look so dark brown there so you can get, it just gives them a little bit of dimension by highlighting that top edge and you can just do that randomly here or there we're going to be adding a little bit of snow to our branches too okay so let's get back to our mittens I'm just going to add a little bit more pink paint here where it didn't cover. And then we'll start to shading a little bit. All right. So I'm going to just re add my lines in between here. And so I'm just going to bring my line drawing back over. So, um, this will also show you how to do this if you haven't painted before with a line drawing. Not everybody here has probably painted before. It's coming together, isn't it, Margaret? All right. So it, um, when you lose your lines in between here, you just have to add your line drawing back over top of your paintings and slide your carbon paper back in there. And you can just lightly go back over those dividing lines if you need to add any of these lines you can just put them back in there so you have a guide as to where to go i'm going to add my heart here too 
and that should be good. So now we can see where we're at. We got our lines back on here. So I'm going to grab my angled shader. Maybe. There it is. All right. And I'm going to grab some clean water. Always when you're shading, grab some clean water. You don't want to take that murky water to do your shading because it will be all over your painting. I'll grab, I'm going to grab a little bit of alizarin crimson. And that's a dark red. And also I need a little bit of black. How are we doing for time, ladies? I think we're good still. All right, so I'll grab some of that red. And I'm just going to load the corner of my angled shader there. And that's how I'm going to continue to load my brush. And I'm just going to go along that underside of the cuff on both of those. And it might seem a little bit dark right now. I'm going to just incorporate a little bit of pink in there so it's not so crazy. It will all come together, I promise. All right, and we'll come down here in between our mittens. So we have a little bit of shadow there in between those. It's kind of a layering process. As it layers up, it just starts to take a whole different look. And we'll also, in between our two mittens here, we want to get a little bit Of shade in there. And I also want to bring a little bit just down along the bottom edge there of the mitten itself. Okay. And right under that little thumb, we're going to put a little bit of a shade there, just so you can see that little curve of the thumb. All right. Now, if these aren't dark enough, you can go back and add a little bit more. Yeah, they're pretty, aren't they, Jan? <clears throat> the background colors. All right, so I'm just going to come along this bottom edge of the cuff here as well. A little too much water on my brush there. So this is just kind of our initial shade. And we'll bring some just along that bottom edge of the thumb too. Just a smidge. All right, we're just gonna dry that quick. So we have our first kind of defining layer of shading on there. And now we're gonna incorporate, I'm gonna grab a little bit of red and a, just a touch of black on there. And I'm going to bring that black in. So I just put red and black on my brush, on the very tip of my brush. You don't want too much black because you don't want it to get too overpowering there. Because black can do that sometimes.
All right, so we're going to let that dry for a second, and I'm going to work on that. I'm going to put a little bit of that, just a tiny bit of that black on that bottom edge as well, just to darken that down a bit. Okay, so I'm going to uh, base my heart with a little bit of gray. Sorry, I keep looking at the time. I just don't want to run over. We'll base this in with gray and then we'll do a little bit of a pattern on it with some white. All right, so we'll dry that quick. Now I'm going to grab some white on my shader and I'm going to highlight the top edges of my mittens. And we're also, I'm just going to turn here a bit so I can reach. And I'm going to go along this side of my thumb. And we'll put a little bit here going down that edge. Now that's a little bit bright for my liking, so I'm just going to take some water and kind of knock that down a bit. And I'll scuff some white across there. All right, so they're slowly coming together. So I'm going to grab a bit of that red, a bit of that black, and I'm going to go around the outer edge of my heart. We've got about six minutes. And just dry that quick. Hi, Terry. Okay. So I'm going to grab my, I think that this is a number five. I should have a three here somewhere. There's a three. Yeah, let's do a three, number three round. And I'm going to just put some, I'm going to dip straight into my white and I'm going to put some little knit marks here on my heart. Let's see if that works out. So I'm just going to go in a V sort of. And these aren't perfect. We just want to give the illusion of the rows of knitting. This brush is terrible. It's separating all over the place. I done picked the wrong brush. So it just looks a little, just an illusion of the knit, knit marks there. So this one comes down like this. Oops. 
so and then you can also you know put a few of those little knit marks along the side of your mittens just put a few down here See how we should, we should angle those ones. Like so. Oh, <laughs> well, I would, I, I think it's good that you're baking cookies. I just wish I was a good baker. You know, I could probably be doing that too. <laughs> yes, there is a special Facebook group for my, for my playground. Yes. Well, we're always, you know, willing to welcome you in to try it. And there's, you know, like if you if it's not for you, you can cancel any time, but definitely if you want to come and paint with us and try it out, we'd love to have you. So I'm just putting a bit of snow kind of rando random. I'm going to stop saying that word. My goodness, the teenage slang. And I'm putting some random snow just here on my tree branch. Forgive me for blurting out the uh, random teenage slang out of my mouth. I hang around teenagers too much, I think. <laughs> Thanks for saying so, Sue. Sue's one of my members. Susan is one of my members. We got lots of members in here actually watching us paint. So I'm just putting that snow kind of on the top there. I think it's turning out pretty cute. And I have two minutes and I just need to do one more thing. I want to put the string that attaches our little mittens to our branch. So I'm going to grab a little bit of red and a little bit of that pink. Just kind of mix that together there just so. And it doesn't have to be completely mixed together. So we're going to just come straight up here from this mitten in the front grab a little more red and then straight up from that mitten in the back and then we'll do a couple loops that's all on the line drawing as well but i'm just going to do it freehand and hope it works out Do a big loop over here. I got one minute left, and I think we're going to make it. We're going to make it. And then we'll just bring two little squiggly tails down here. So this was just a quick little painting. Um, you know, you can tweak yours a little bit more. We, we have 45 minutes to paint a painting and in all reality, I would, you know, be playing with this and tweaking it a bit and, um, doing all the things to, you know, till I'm happy with it. But that is basically, that is basically it. But I think it turned out pretty cute.